Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards with Coldwell Banker Real Estate in Wilmington, North Carolina. And today I wanna to give you my top five tips for first time home sellers. The first one is remember that the outside is just as important, if not more important sometimes than the inside of your property. So a lot of sellers get very caught up in making sure that everything's perfect on the inside of the property and, and massively fail on preparing the outside of the home. The outside of your house is the first impression that buyers have, it sets the tone for walking into the property property. So don't think that the inside is more important than the outside and certainly don't forget about the outside of the property. That's my first tip. The second one is to prepare for repairs. Um, you know, don't negotiate, don't, don't be prepared to negotiate or don't think that your bottom number is a certain number that you don't allow for any room for repairs. I recommend a lot of my sellers get a home inspection done on the front end to take care of anything that needs done and to be prepared for anything that may come up during the buyer's home inspection. Um, but you need to know your numbers and you need to prepare to um, spend some money on repairs. All buyers are gonna want some repairs done on a property, even if it's minor. Um, and the second part of that, tip number three, would be know your numbers and know that bottom line. Make sure you call your mortgage company and get that payoff to make sure that what you're seeing online is really what it reflects. Um, make sure that you talk to your agent about you know what your closing costs are gonna be and you know all of those numbers so that you are prepared to negotiate and don't negotiate too much. There's a second part of that, which is know your numbers if you're going to purchase something else. If you're selling your property as a first time seller to buy up, to buy something bigger, larger for your family, to spend more money, you can't just have an idea in your head of enough money that you have to get. You need to know your numbers with a lender for your purchase. So make sure you know those purchasing numbers because that's gonna help you be able to negotiate on the sale of your property if you know exactly what you need and exactly Exactly what your numbers are on the purchase. Um, the fourth thing is um, to remember that you need to know your agent and the brand that's listing your house. So I've talked a lot about how important that brand or that real estate company is that stands behind your agent's name. So do some research into that. Um, but also don't just choose a company without looking at agents. All agents work differently um, under different companies or different brands. So if you choose a brand, make sure you also, you know, choose that agent wisely. And if you choose an agent, make sure you also know the brand that's listing your house behind that. Um, both of those things play together and that brand is so, so important in today's world of real estate marketing and everything online. The last thing is prepare for showings. Um, you know, you're not always going to have a 24 hour notice. You're not always going to have a ton of time to prepare for showings. If you work, if you have dogs or kids or pets, you know, be prepared for those things ahead of time and maybe take a few steps um, so that it's easy to prepare your house for showing. I recommend my clients um, set aside a drawer or a basket under a sink in a bathroom so that if you have a showing scheduled at the last minute, you can toss some things in you know, from the counter and clear it off and throw it under the sink. So just be prepared for showings and know that you have a plan. If it's um, if you have a spouse, if it's certain days of the week you're in charge of showings and they're in charge of showings on the other day depending on work schedules and things. So those are my top five tips. I wish you all the best of luck if you're a first-time home seller. And thank you so much for listening.